This was the situation at the Jubilee Party headquarters along Pika Road, Nairobi County. Tens of trucks waiting to be loaded with ballot boxes and other election material ahead of the party primaries set to kick off on Monday in five counties, including Baringo, Elgeo Marakwet, Kirinyaga, Bomet and Nandi. The logistics team leaving nothing to chance in order to avoid a repeat of the chaos witnessed on Friday. Party bosses were forced to cancel the entire exercise after many polling stations received only a fraction of the required ballot papers. Today, officials counting ballot boxes not once but twice as a safety precaution. And for the second day running, Deputy President took charge of the preparations, the party's top leadership striving to avoid another embarrassing fiasco. Here, Counties whose materials were not tampered with on Friday, such as Nairobi, Kuale and Bungoma, are given priority in the distribution process. According to Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju, not all the ballot papers will be reprinted, despite aspirants demanding fresh ballot papers with the new safety features. There are certain areas where ballot papers are not breached, but in, in areas where they, uh, they have been breached, we have had to do a total reprint. The party has once again pushed Nairobi party primaries from Monday to Wednesday. This following IEBC's concern that some parties were sharing nomination dates. The most difficult was Nairobi. That's why we wanted to move that to Tuesday. But because it's clashing with uh, ODM uh, primaries and we're using the same uh, schools as uh, uh, polling centers. So uh, as a courtesy, since they were on that date first, we've decided to move to Wednesday. An uphill task still faces the party that has planned nominations in 28 counties on Tuesday and 11 more on Wednesday. Mumbiwa Roe, Sunday Live.